All right, everybody, welcome to the race uh, 2021 edition. Uh, in lieu of the elite athlete panel, uh, this year we are going to focus on defending the throne. Uh, we have both of last year's champions, Habib and Shawana, uh, in the studio recording and interviewing with us today. So we just have a couple of questions for them, see what's been going on. So um, it's been like two years. <laughs> There's been two yeah. years done this and um, a lot has occurred in between. Um, obviously COVID-19 is, is the big elephant in the room. So uh, just to start things off, I'm curious to know, you know, what have you been up to for the last two years? So um, we'll go ahead and, and start off with Shawana. Shawana, how have you kept busy since we've last spoken? Um, let's see, That that's a good question. Um, I, I have been running races, been chasing state records in my age group. Um, originally, I was preparing to run Chicago Marathon, but unfortunately, I got injured, so I will not be running Chicago Marathon. So, yeah, um, I think during this time, I tied the state record in the 5K. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. Yeah. That's not about it. A little birdie has whispered in my ear that a certain someone is going to be in the uh, National Black Marathon as Hall of Fame. Yes, that is true. I feel all about that. Yes, so so much been going on. Yeah, I'm going to be inducted in April, and it's going to be at the um, Flying Pig Marathon in Cincinnati, Ohio. That is amazing. Congratulations in advance. Thank you. Uh, Habib, how about you, man? What have you been up to these last two years? Um, Honestly, I think I've been back now, um, I think this year. Uh, 2020 was uh, was kind of like a bust. Um, I was hurt. Um, I was injured towards the back end of 2019. Um, I got hurt literally after the race. Um, I got into a vehicle accident at work. So basically after the race 2020 in October 2019, I got hurt. And since that time, I haven't been training at all. You know, I've been doing uh, physical therapy and all those kind of things. So 2020, I really didn't get back into running at all. So I really did get back into running in 2021. So like January 2021, kind of like one of those um i don't want to say new resolution kind of things but basically something along that line so i just basically got back into it and um go back in the horse and started to you know started to grind all right good stuff now both of y'all have mentioned uh being injured at some point during this gap how are we feeling today what type of shape are you in right now sean <laughs> Um, we're, we will find out on October 2nd, because okay. honestly, I, I have no idea. So I'm hoping that in two weeks, my hamstring will allow me to run fast. We shall see. All right. Shawana, always playing coy. Um, every year, you know, there's always a little something you're dealing with. However, for as long as we've had the race, Shawana has retained the title every single year. So this will be... All right, so last year didn't count, so this will be uh, year three that you're going for in, in a row. Um, yeah. So, Habib, how about you? What type of shape are you in right now? Um, honestly, um, I, I think I'm in. A, I mean, a very. I mean, in a, in a decent shape. Um, now I don't know. I mean, I can't really tell as, as of right now if I'm in the same shape I was in in 2019. But so far, I feel like from the beginning of the year to now, I think I'm in the best shape that I can possibly be in. Um, so I guess the only thing I can do now is probably go check my, um, my, uh, my workouts, you know, way back in 2019 and compare them to now to see how the workouts stack, stack up against each other. But besides that, I mean, I think overall, uh, me and my coach, we are, um, you know, we're in a good place. Um, and I'm learning to take things a little bit more easier now compared to before when I just kind of like, you know, even when I'm feeling a little, a little, you know, a little niggle here and there, I just, you know you know kind of push through now and i'm you know if, if i feel a little nigga here either take a you know take a break or whatever the case may be and i'm doing a lot more recovery now i'm stretching a little, a little bit more um so i think I'm, I'm adding every little piece into the puzzle but overall i think my fitness is in a really good place now um i know my one of my biggest goal was to you know after the 2019 um was to come back for the course record now i'm not in that kind of shape that, that i know for a fact i'm not in that kind of shape but um you know so far, I mean, I, I feel like every indication says, you know, I may be able to be, beat my PR that I ran in 2019 based on what I what I can see so far and my um, my predictions from 
all the things that I have for my stride, power meter, and things like that. But again, um, I I I, I want to say I trust it, but at the same time, I want to say I don't trust it. But when I ran the uh, the relay ladies like two weeks ago or so, he said I was going to run a 17 like 35, and ended up running a 17 40. So I feel like maybe I don't know if he's close, but now he's saying I'm going to run the half in like 116 or so. So if he's if I I guess if I stay close to that and you know everything works out then uh, hopefully i'll be able to run that all right so we're gonna box you in now 116 is that the number we're going for um uh, i'll just try to keep it safe i'll say sub 120 i don't know i just sub try to keep it safe sub okay. 120 all right second question to that is the throne secure how confident are you feeling about uh keeping the throne uh well honestly um uh one of the one of the things that especially like for the race the race is a really unique course uh you know and i didn't start winning the race when even when i won it i didn't start winning the race until like mile eight or so or nine so we, because the rate the course itself is really tough so you never know what kind of uh you know you might think you're in good shape and then the hills just get to you or you might be a little bit warm that day you know so i don't want to jinx myself and be like oh you know i'm confident they know that i would defend the throne but um, and again, I'm I really don't even care who's coming, always not showing up. All I know is I'm gonna go out there and lay it, put everything on the line, uh, you know, try to race as smart as I can, and and hope for the best. Because at this point in time, because of how difficult the course is, and um, you know, I feel like having that confident defending throne throne would be a little bit you know challenging to uh, to think of right now. All right, there it is, Shawana. You know, I'm coming your way with the same pair of questions. Can we get a time uh, guess out of you? And how confident are you feeling about defending the throne? <laughs> oh, a time. I honestly, I haven't even thought about a time. But um, if I had to put a time on it, I would say I would hope to run faster than what I ran in 2019. And I believe I ran 127. So. If I can run faster than that, I'll be really happy. Um, in regards to the throne, I'm going to do my best and stay up there with whoever show up as long as I can and see what happens because I know I'm not in the best shape right now, but I know on race day, anything can happen. If I go in there with the mindset that I'm going to give it my all, then anything is possible. I like that attitude. So both of you are committed to, to putting it all out there on the course, um, which leads me to my next question. Speaking of the course, I know, Habib, you already hinted towards it being a challenging course. What is your favorite part of the course? Oh, hmm. I'll let Habib go first. <laughs> um, I think the, the for me, I think it's towards the back end. Um, after you get out of the, um, the trail, towards the back end, when you get out of the trail, uh, and then you make that little U-turn, come back, make a left turn, and make a right turn to the straightaway. I think that's, for me, that's the best part of the course, just because the straightaway is it's a rolling hill. It's just kind of like up and down. It's not too, it's not, it doesn't beat your leg up as much as you think, but it just kind of gives you, you know, you work up, and then you have a little bit of recovery down, and work up again, a little bit of recovery down. Uh, that's the, I guess, for me, that's the most fun part of the course. And obviously, the most difficult part of the course is still on that same stretch, after you're done with the little up and down, up and down, and you have this little huge one close to the highway uphill before you come down to the um, back end on the on the downhill to the left turn to the to, to the finish line. But yeah, that final stretch is both the fun part and the most challenging part of the race for me. All right, that's Sylvan Road, y'all. Habib is already up to some tricky tactics. You make a left on Sylvan Road. Habib wants you to go right to try to throw you off. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I mean, yeah. All right, Shawana, same question for you. <laughs> um, I think my favorite part, and it's, it's, it's only because there's a lot of crowd support. I love that last part on Sylvan Road where you're running up the hill and there's so many people out there cheering. So at that point when I'm struggling and already tired from all the hills on the course, those people cheering give me like a boost of energy to shoot up the hill so I can get to the finish line. and. The finish line, that's my favorite part but for the same reason. And then just seeing the flags, I'm so excited to cross the line, you know, because that course is, is quite brutal. It's funny, y'all are both talking about how challenging the course is. 
but both of you like the most challenging part of the course the most. Um, on the side note, that is actually my favorite part of the course also. also. So uh, that's pretty funny there. Um, so outside of the race, I'm curious, what um, do you have going on or, or what are you thinking about in the future? So going past the race, are there any big goals that you have? We're obviously, personally, I know I'm going to be cheering for you both this year at the race. Um, but beyond that, I'm just curious, what else is on your agenda? Uh, Shawana, I'm going to start off with uh, you on this one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping, you know, cause I have this crazy mind that, you know, lifetime fitness sometimes can trump not being in shape. So I'm hoping by the end of October that, um, I can run a 12 K and try to go for the state record in my age group. And then hopefully I can get healthy enough so I can start building up for like a winter marathon, po possibly Mercedes Benz Marathon in Birmingham, Alabama. I really love that race. Um, and, you know, I came in almost every position in the top three except first place. So I'm going to try to shoot to for that top spot. Um, I'm also going to probably in 2022 run some US, USTF Masters Championship races on the road. I know there's one in Atlanta, a 5K that I want to do. I can't remember what money it, month is in at the time, but yeah, that's what I'm shooting for. That's awesome. And if I remember correctly, Mercedes, that's where your current PR stands now, right? No, sir. No. Okay. Um, yeah, it, um, Mercedes is like my third, like, no, fourth fastest marathon time ever. Oh, I see. Is on that course. Okay, very nice. Um, where is your PR, out of curiosity? One City Marathon in Newport News, Virginia. Ah, okay. I have not done Virginia yet. I'm you know, I'm still loosely thinking about trying to get through all the states, so I have to keep that one, uh, keep that one on the list. Yeah, that's, Habib, a good you, that's a good one. Okay, all right. What about you, Habib? What do you have going on in the future? Um, honestly, I'm pretty sure you are probably already know this. So, um, my big my big goal is you know qualifying for the Olympic trials and the marathon. Um, so, but like kind of like a immediate goal, like short term goal. I, I I'll be honest with you, I really don't have any. Um, you know, one of the things me and my coach are working on is building back that fitness to be able to get me to peak at the, the right time to be able to qualify for it. So, so right now we're working on every little, you know, beat in pieces to kind of put the puzzle together. Um, so basically what I'm trying to work on is, you know, making sure I have a, you know, good enough top end speed, speed. So we're working on 5k, 10ks. Uh, that's what, you know, first thing, what, what we do for, towards the beginning of the year was pretty much the base build, get me back into running since I haven't been running since 2020. So now it's kind of like now that we, you know, we're, we're having a lot of base in our legs with a lot of miles in our legs. Now, you know, we cut down the mileage a little bit. Now we're doing a little more speed. Now with half marathon, obviously my coach, I'll be honest, uh, my coach didn't want me to do this half marathon at first because it feels like it would kind of throw everything off. But at the same time, he was like, well, um, you know, this is something that, you know, it's important to you. We're going to try to fix it into the schedule and we'll use it at more as a, you know, to see what, what your fitness is. Because basically right now where we're doing a lot of speed work and it's making my leg a little much more tired than it's supposed to uh, if you were kind of like, you know, running, you know, long distance. So I'm still putting in the mileage, but I'm not running as long as I would run if I'm training for a marathon. So, I mean, I'm still running over 50 miles a week, but I'm not going over 60 plus mile a week. You know, like I think the max is probably like 61, 62, uh, which is not bad for a half marathon to be able to race a half marathon. But the kind of concentration is basically on a 5K, 10K to kind of like get my leg used to the speed and the turnover of running that fast. Uh, so uh, I guess next year, uh, 2022, um, obviously, hopefully, you know, may, may, may God spare our lives. Um, I'll be back there in 20, uh, you know, in, at the race in 2022. And at that point in time, I can honestly say, you know, if everything goes you know, according to plan, I, I, I stay injury free. Then I can say, you know what? Based on what, you know, how the thing is going, maybe I can challenge the, the course record at that time. You know, I can say it with full confidence. But right now, you know, just trying to take everything one step at a time. Um, I trust my coach. I trust the process. And, um, you know, we see how everything goes from there. But the biggest goal so far is still going to be um, to qualify for the Olympic trials and the marathon. All right. Sounds good. Um, well, is there anything so far that I haven't asked you yet that you'd like to share? Anything personal that you'd like to plug that you have going on? Um, I'll just leave that open for either one of you or both of you. Um, I think for me, it's just uh, 
so like I do have a YouTube channel where I try to document some of my, uh, you know, my race vlog or my run vlog in reference to how I'm trying to embark on this journey to qualify for the marathon, uh, Olympic trials in the marathon. So I guess that's something, you know, I guess just to keep me a little bit busy and keep me, I guess, guessing. And I didn't know how difficult it was at first. But um, over time, it, it's kind of g- getting me on my toes and I'm having to study a little bit more, especially if I'm trying to make a video about like uh, a certain, you know, maybe drill or something like that. I have to then go research the drill and like, oh, OK, I didn't even know this drill d- does things like this. So for me personally, I feel like, you know, be, having to share that with, with folks, I think that's something that, uh, you know, yeah, I can, uh, I guess, check out uh, just so we can all learn together and um, hopefully it'll be an inspiring journey for you guys as well. Okay. And I've checked out the blog. Um, really good content. I've enjoyed uh, m- many of the videos that I've watched so far. And I can see like the quality seems to get better uh, week after week. So great job with that. One more time. Can you plug the name of it so everyone can find it? Oh, yeah. It is um, Road to the Tape. Like road, like being on the road to the tape. Like I kind of like made it kind of like, you know, if you're if you're on a road to the, you know, to the, to, to, the, to the tape line, to the end of the race. So Road to the Tape. Just, uh, I guess it is space in between. Uh, actually, no, one word, road to the tape, one word, road to the tape, but uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, you can also, um, I guess, if you follow me on Instagram, it's going to be my, uh, my, the link is going to be in my bio, but, uh, right. but yeah, well, you might tape. as well plug your, your Instagram as well, since you mentioned it. Oh, well, my Instagram is uh, King, as in K-I-N-G, C as in Charlie, R as in Romeo, I as in India, B as in Boy D as in dog, King Crib D at Yahoo. Oh, well, yeah, King Crib D. I was going to say my email address for some reason. At Yahoo. <laughs> I was going to say Yahoo.com, but yeah, no, King Crib, at King Crib D. Yeah. Right. And then the link is going to be in my bio. Good deal. Shawan, anything you want to plug while we have you here? <laughs> I guess so, since we're plugging Instagram names, um, I'll go ahead and plug mine. Um, you can find me at Peach Runner 26.2 where I pretty much document my running journey and try to, you know, have some positive messages. And I always have a dance on Friday to put a smile on people's faces. Uh, Awesome, awesome. Well, it's been a pleasure having you both on. You both know that I have just an immense amount of respect for both of you. I think you all are wonderful people and amazing ambassadors for the sport Um, and the race. It's just really privileged to have you both participating in it. And I will personally be cheering you both on hoping that you're able to retain the crown. Uh, Thanks again for your time and uh, have a good race. Thanks. I appreciate it.